we do see now that Tides fix Handlock against Rogue. Mm -hmm. And Hype Test Sabotage. A lot of these like deadly shot effects coming into play. Maybe it's because of the Handlock metagame right now. You know, they're anticipating a lot of Handlock and uh, you know, we see Warriors running Bouncing Blade, we see Rogues running Sabotage. These are all like deadly effect deadly shot uh, effects, you know, right. they're maybe specifically targeting Handlock with them. Yeah, definitely uh, pretty good because, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of different from Ladder, right? Uh, sure, you can just run Zoo, right? And there's like, you have to face against yeah. everything, which is fine. But Handlock is such a strong class. Uh, yeah. To and uh, yeah, Hype is going to go ahead and coin out the Vile Teacher immediately. And he has some nice follow up with uh, Shiv and Eviscerate possibility. So right. he's able to get a, a lot of dudes, maybe. And, oh, uh, sabotage. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, it does make sense, right? This this Twilight Drake has more health than the Giant, yeah, so you're not gonna get combo out of here in this matchup, right? There's, I mean, I guess you can wait for Taraxxus, but that seems way too late in the game, and you just go right. for the deadly shot here. So here is a tap into Giant instead of using the coil. Do you agree with that? Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think the one one is that significant. I I definitely take an extra card over uh, killing the one one here. So. Well, um, Hyped obviously is trying to find a way to efficiently deal with this giant because usually against Hamlock, you deal with their first Twilight Drake, you deal with their first giant, and then you're home free. Yeah. Right? I think uh, uh, Hype is going to Deadly Poison Eviscerate here and just punch it for right? eight damage because you know you can afford to take eight damage probably once against Hamlock, and you might as well take it as early as possible to get as much of a lead as you can. So he's right. gonna you know, do it here, and it doesn't seem too bad for him to be at twenty two. So. And it does get two free one ones here, which is uh, pretty good. So once again, Violet T just carrying the game again in a different style this time, not a dream. We do see a Shadow Flame. Uh, unfortunately, Tide is one man off from the uh, the Ancient Watcher plus Shadow Flame plus Mortal Coil. He kind of really needs the Mortal Coil to finish off the Violet Teacher. Mm -hmm. So instead, it's going to be an anti heal bot there. Uh, that's such a weak turn. Is, oh, is just, Tide scared uh, of lethal? Because it seems weird to antique heal bot when you have two molten giants in your hand. You know, yeah, he also true. has the mountain giant for three, so maybe you can do something like mountain giant plus uh, ancient watcher or owl, and then and then uh, mortal coil the one one. But you know, can you die like that? Maybe. I mean, if your opponent runs the oil rogue, but there are no oil rogues right now, uh -huh. so yeah. Because kind of Hyped has effectively, what, 6, 7, 8, 9 damage after the Mortal Call if you count the weapon as well. So he mm -hmm. needs 8 more damage for lethal after. Right. But, uh, oh, really deciding if to put the anti wow. It's going to be that. Wow. Mm -hmm. Doesn't want to risk time. And actually saves the Mortal Call. Oh, that's smart because next turn he's going to watch her Shadow Flame Mortal Call. That's so he really, really wanted to save it. Well, uh, Shiv is going to come in here. Even more dudes are going to join in the battlefield. Uh, Sap is something you do want to see. So now you can actually go a bit more aggressive, right? Yeah, you have to think uh, for Tides of Time's move, though. It's so weak that maybe Tides is setting up for some AoE, you know. The question mm -hmm. for Hype is, does he want to commit more to the board, say, by dropping SI here? Uh, this way, you know, you, you can save your 1-1. One -one, you don't have to trade. But, you know, it seems like your board is so powerful already that Tides has to use AoE anyways. Right. So, um, there you go. Uh, Hype is going to decide to do that. And, I mean, your opponent didn't really have a good answer to this board, so why not just uh -huh. kind of stay it and just uh -huh. you know, a little bit more into it. Hellfire! Oh, and is that be better? Uh, I mean, even better, right? I mean, multi Yeah, I think so. I agree. Yeah, Hellfire might be better. You can just go Hellfire Dark Bomb and um, you... You know, Shadow Flame is better later on, I think, because Hellfire later on is more awkward, right? It's like a two way board clear instead of a one way board clear. So, uh -huh. this is a situation where it's really only one way because Tides of Time has no board and Hyped has all the board, you know? So, Hellfire seems to get more value here compared to Shadow Flame later on. So, the other option, if you don't want to use the Hellfire, would be to. Um, hmm. Yeah, the Shadow Flame move from last turn. <laughs> so, yeah. It's one of them. <laughs> it, can't, it can't be none of them, I think. 
Well, I mean, even the Shadow Flame on the Watcher is not the worst, right? I mean, you have the Coil on the um, the uh, Violet Teacher, but I think the Hellfire must must be a little bit better. You can enable the Molten Giants to play as well. I wonder if Tides is scared of getting bursted down after the Hellfire. Because he had be at 15 life. I don't think he should worry about that, though. Rogue would have to burst you almost out of nowhere, right? 15 mm -hmm. with a 3 damage weapon. That's pretty hard. Right. Oh, really deciding between the two, and he's gonna decide with the Hellfire and Dark Bomb play. That's pretty good. Uh, uh, I, I do think that, that this is better, so... Good play by Tides of Time to save the Hellfire for later. I mean, well, to save the Shadow Flame for later. I mean, it's a turn 7 turn, and Dr. Boom is looking pretty good. <laughs> Dr. Boom is so cool, like it single-handedly threatens lethal here. <laughs> it's like so powerful. You know, nine damage on board, plus it's potentially something like, you know, maybe Eight. like 15 damage if your boom bots right. get lucky. Oh, jeez. Seven and plus, uh, plus eight from the boom bots. So there you go, that's annoying. Well, uh, Faceless as well for time to time. Uh, wonder is there really any power overwhelming combos if that card is present. Uh, but for now, you could use the Mountain Giant, I guess, I guess because you want to save the Motors for later. Uh, yeah, Big Game so Hunter I, plus... But if he plays Big Game first, then... Yeah, but I, I feel like putting the Giant is not that bad, Beard, because I think a bomb going into the Giant is not the worst thing that could happen. But, yeah, exactly. But if he plays Big Game uh, first, he can't Mortal Call after. Well, you can Mortal Call first, right? And then play the Giant and then Big Game Hunter instead. Oh, I think Tides is thinking about taking the bomb here and maybe even potentially big game hunter plus double molten giant. Whoa! You're right. right. Wow. That because if you really take the smart. bomb, mm -hmm, if you take the bomb, you, you effectively ramp yourself into molten's. Oh yeah, that's that would be really good play, but I don't think Tides can do that, huh? Mm -hmm. I think he might be scared of dying from the bomb. Right. Because uh, if you proc the bomb with no minions, you effectively force the bomb to go to your face. Whereas now, you know, the bomb can't be forced onto the face, right? He has to get lucky, okay. so. So now here, uh, does, is it lethal here? I mean, it looks kind of lethally. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm. We have to think about this, huh? I mean, anytime you have boom bots, your turn is just, like, amazing, right? Mm -hmm. I'd say I it's possible for lethal... If the boom bots kill the BGH and both go face and then Ragnaros. <laughs> I guess. I mean, the thing is, like, if the BGH does die, do you really care what the rag hits? Uh -huh. uh, I feel like you're fine. You have a sap. So. The problem is the it hits is... face, though, and you don't have lethal. And then Draxus heals up, then giant trades for your Ragnaros. Oh, that would be bad, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That might be a disaster. So, wait, do you just start with using the boom bot on the 4 2? So, to see what you have, man? I think Hype is thinking about um, maybe Azure Drake Fan Knives or something like Fan Knives Sap. Some moves you know, that don't right. involve Ragnaros, maybe. Let's we'll so see what he decides. Safe turn, huh? uh -huh. mm -hmm. Because he's actually roping already and hasn't made any move yet. Well, he's roped like halfway already and uh -huh. hasn't done anything. This is a Sap. It's going to go up on the Giant. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Uh, can you use the dagger to clear this, I believe, and then just hold? Okay. Right? I mean, that would seem logical based on what mm -hmm. he played. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. So just set sets up for um, next turn. Try to get lethal next turn. Mm -hmm. Doesn't want to ramp Tides of Time into Moltens any faster. Uh, and unfortunately for Hype, he already is a sap, you know, so now it's going to be harder for him to get through this belcher. Um, I, I, is there lethal here? <laughs> is, is I don't a, think so. Is there ever any question? So uh, what, uh, I guess Azure can eviscerate, but you really want to keep eviscerate for the face. Uh, can you do something funky like SI7, like fan of Knives in the SI7, do something there? Uh, maybe uh, hype just wants to kind of cycle. I I expect him to drop drop the Azure Drake first and see what happens. Okay. And uh, if he doesn't draw anything relevant, I kind of accept expect something like maybe a fan of knives and then trade the belt like you know kill the belcher with your belcher or something like that. Uh -huh. Just to draw as many cards as possible. That's um, just just bad though. Like using the fan like kind of like that. 
see what draws something better. Belcher is not the card you want to see. Um, you could eviscerate the, the Belcher, dagger mm -hmm. up, punch it, and then uh, use a boom bot to kill the remaining slime. I yeah. guess you just don't really want to. It hit the seems face like here. you want to save your eviscerate for burn, maybe. Ooh, so. Oh, it kills the Belcher off, and SI is gonna come down here instead. Oh, cool. Uh, this is, you still save a boom bot. <laughs> Doesn't attack right. again. Sets up a big but, board here. But here, look at this turn from uh, Tides. You can actually clear the board uh, a lot of the ways. So yeah. Has uh, uh, I wonder how he uh, Tides is gonna clear here because I think he's gonna shadow flame something for sure. Uh, you can just like w w uh, watch your shadow flame and still have four mana. Oh, is he gonna shadow flame this? The okay, watcher? So sh okay, yeah, shadow flame. Yeah. Shadow flame the watcher. Player, and I do like player, play the Drake first. first. So the uh -huh. Drake might soak the bomb, right? The only thing you die right now is the shenanigans, like, you know, oil and charge. Yeah, and exactly. So this bomb is gonna go to face of oh. four! Oh no! Is it YOLO rag time? That is a potential lethal now at the four because rag. Wow! Wait, wow. was it, if it's not if it was three, it would have been fine too, right? I mean, I mean it would have been the same uh -huh. possibility. But I think Hype is gonna go for it. I mean, you are so you you you're cornered, right? I mean, you, yeah, you're just exactly. two big creatures on the board. This you is gonna to. be the biggest rack snipe. So is this gonna goalie in the pole? And oh, oh, oh it doesn't one. work out. Yeah. So now, do we see Lethal on Tides' screen? Um, you can face this the rag and then just oh, go, go for really? your own 50-50. <laughs> Wow, if you face this rag, it's almost like a counter lethal. If only you can destroy the rag somehow, too. Um, wait. wait what? What's that? What? 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 <laughs> wait, what? Oh, a cycle. He's to okay. Troll. Well done. That is, uh. Oh my god! Um, does that okay, wait. Matter? But you can't. Do you face this? You can't face this in Argus. <laughs> that came as such a surprise. Like. Yeah, exactly. It's so weird, but I definitely ex. Oh man, it's weird, right? Because uh, how you can does Rook seven taunt. damage? Yeah, how you can Volt Volt taunt, but then you don't. They don't have any chance of lethal. But if you face this the rag and it misses, then you don't have a taunter up, and then you might die maybe. Okay, so I guess it's molten molten taunt, and then just trade for the rag to like the safest play, right? Mm hmm. Oh man. But I wonder why oh, it did oh. the. Oh, wow. he, does, he just faces us anyways. Okay, well then. Uh, all right, and the owl is gonna come up here as well. It's kind of like all it is. This gonna hit the face. Yes, oh, it is. Oh, all right. Well, there yeah. you go. Some very interesting water coiling your own owl to just try and fish for something. Maybe he's running BGH or something. Yeah, it's like the super RNG spots. <laughs> Oh, but uh, yeah, Hype is gonna instead. Oh yeah, Hype is running the ho the Hobgoblin deck, right? Oh, interesting. Wait, so is that good against uh, against Havoc? I guess it's like a zoo, right? You, you, so this kind of Drew, you're you're trying to run run Handlock over, right? Uh, I don't think you're waiting for a turn nine combo. You're just trying to blow them out, right? I, I, I like guess. say turn five or turn six Savage for the for the win, maybe. <laughs> it's definitely a very uh, you know. Interesting that I really want to see this work out just to see how how much potential this deck has, you know. Uh huh. This is so, good for hype. He has a blood knight and a squire for the synergy. Oh, 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 oh wait a minute. Can you really do oh, squires? But okay, but if you do that, um, I, I'm not really sure. It's really vulnerable to BJ, right? And all BG, uh, all handlocks have BJ right now. You do that then? I'm just thinking about whether to just uh, coin out Blood Knight here or go for this, you know, the gigantic one. Because <laughs> that one is weak to be GH. And so. Silence as well, right? I mean, you're consuming two Divine Shields. So So maybe yeah. what he'll do here is just coin out the Blood Knight and then next turn go Argent Squire plus Power of the Wilds. That way you, you don't put all your eggs in one basket. But, you know, maybe you just go for the blowout play. <laughs> If you go for the blowout play, what wait. Which blowout play? They're both blowouts. I have to say. <laughs> the strong, the nine nine. <laughs> oh, the nine nine blow. Okay. All right. So you you bigger also coin a part of the wild here, right? I mean, you don't want to really float that much mana. So yeah, the bigger blowout play would be to play the other square and then maybe coin out power of the wild. Yeah, and no, uh, just holding the part of the wild. Wow. 
really values the coin here. Okay, so this Blood Knight <laughs> is going to be pretty crazy. And the Innervate... Is it going to innervate out... Um, Power of the Wild? Is it really that awesome, though, to innervate a part of the wild? I mean, is, you, you're kind of like making it versus uh, innervate uh, coin a Ancient of Lore instead, right? Wouldn't that be just better? Yeah, it, it probably is. He d type still, still needs to draw Savage or, or like Swipe or some Burn, so I think you want to uh, play your Ancient War as soon as possible to draw into what you need. This is kind of cool yeah. how Hype set it up, because he set up his 9-9 nine -nine on turn 4, and turn 4 is when your opponent really wants to drop Twilight, Drake, and Molten Giant, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that, you know? Right, yeah. Who cares about playing Giants, wow. guys? Play Hype's deck and just, you know... Do the uh, do the wow. Nine -nine. Tides actually didn't play the giant or the drake and just yellow tapped for the owl and missed. That is really insane because what if your opponent has Savage Roar here, right? That's like 11 plus 8. That's 19 damage to the face. Yeah, I'm really surprised about Tides' play because he could at least contest the board a little bit better playing a, you know, a, a big guy, but instead plays a watcher. Like maybe he wanted to tap into, into uh, owl, but you know he he missed so. This 4-5 mm -hmm. isn't really doing anything here. Looks like Hype is going to go with your play. And uh, maybe go Ancient of Lore. It, it does make sense, right? I mean, Shadow Flame doesn't clear the Ancient of Lore as well. He will need Shadow Flame and Coil. Uh, I feel like it's fine. You do yeah. want to read with your hand, especially like, you know, get some Savage Roars. I don't think this 9-9 is going to go anywhere if, if uh, Tides can't deal with it the turn before. Mm -hmm. Like, you would silence a 9-9 <laughs> if you have a silence. <laughs> yeah, believe. clearly, clearly missed the, uh, the Owl. Right. I think you have to think of how to attack here because right. if you, you attack your 9-9... Oh, Lothab. Ooh, if the Lothab, I think he's going to actually hold... Oh! Yeah, okay, oh. he does. Oh, yeah. I was like, I was like, wait! <laughs> wow, oh, yeah. and it pays off because the Molten Giant is drawn. Oh, so oh if, you know, if Hype punched Ties down to 10, it would have been Molten Shadow Flame and potential Mortal Coil. <laughs> that there wasn't a Mortal Coil, so, so right. 9 9 would have survived and had the lethal. So, That's weird. Man, this Blood Knight, man. This is insane. Why would everybody play Handlock when you could just do a 9 9 at turn 3, anyways, with not yeah. a Handlock? Oh man, this is brutal because hyped has the load the follow up. Well, actually, hyped is just straight out threatening lethal here. This is a uh, yeah. How much this, still this, is, <laughs> this, is, this is easily threatening lethal. Sixteen damage on board, I believe. Well, one way to be handlock is to you know put put up enough pressure at the early tur uh, five turns, and then just yeah. win from there, right? And this is kind of how a uh, zoo and hunter beat Handlock, you know, you just right. don't even let them drop any Giants because it's like how Zoo plays against Handlock, right? If you yeah. if you go tap, tap, Mountain Giant, you're just dead, you know, the next turn, very likely. So. Oh no, it's gonna be a Mountain Giant and a Sun Fury? Sun Fury. That's yeah. the best turn? Oh no. Unfortunately... Wait, this... it, okay, so can Hype win here? Uh, but, but, like, so each part of the wall does 4 damage. Can you deal and you can it, innervate and out the swipe as well. I mean, innervate out the wrath as well. It, yeah. Um, I don't know. Wait, so 9 <laughs> plus 5 is 14. 14, 18. It seems like he's 1 damage off. Oh, okay. Right? It seems very close, right? Because if you go double power the wild wrath, you can probably trade your two three threes for the giant after. Yeah. So you'll have two power of the wilds and then the two big creatures. So that's so eleven and seven, right? So you're just one damage off. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Oh I'm man, one damage off. Okay, so if okay, so if you are one damage off, don't you want to just play Lothab instead to guarantee that you have the board? Mm -hmm. I mean, Lothab is such a strong lock here, right? Because right. if you Lothab, you can you won't be scared of Shadow Flame next turn. So what I'm exactly. thinking is Lothab innervate out Wrath. Uh, and then trade three. the Ancient of Lore. Trade the Ancient of Lore. It looks good. Yeah. Oh, what is he going to do here? He better make up his decision quick. Yeah, he's yeah. going to do exactly that. So I wonder how he's attacking. Well, I mean, if you're not going to be scared of Shadow Flame, you're only losing to a Molten Giant plus Taunt, right? So I, yeah, I guess you go for it. Just go for it, yeah. exactly. The Molten Giant can't be comboed with Shadow Flame, so... 
Right, but he got uh, Tides could taunt it up. So here it is going to be a Molten Giant plus Argus, I think minimum, and then probably not tap because I mean you, you're dying. <laughs> so you know if you're dying, you don't want to tap. Yeah, I wonder if you go yellow and tap for the second Molten Giant. Wow, I don't think so. I guess Definitely. not. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait! He's hovering over the pier part. He's hovering over it. <laughs> Wouldn't it be so sick if he actually gets it? Oh my god. It would be so sick. No, he decides better. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't go for it. Too risky. Okay. So now is this lethal? Whoa! That should be lethal. Right. Yeah, sw swipe yeah, power. Yeah, swipe well. attack and a hero power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is lethal. You can swipe the you you can do you this can swipe the three, three. Mm -hmm. There's like oh, yeah. five ways to do this turn for lethal, I think, so. Right. So Hype takes well, it out with the uh, blowout play. <laughs> that's a uh, pretty blow to me. I mean, you can just, yeah, do anything you want here. Power of the Wild again, clear the board, use the hero power. Anything you want, Hype. You can uh, swipe you that, trade the Lothab, trade the 2-2, two -two, and punch him for 10. Right? Oh yeah, of course. Then the Blood Knight survives and you're really happy, right? Well, seems like Blood Knight did carry this game. Hype is going <laughs> to take a win with this, uh, well, it looks like a Blood Knight there, but it's actually a Hobgoblin there. So, um... Very cool. Very Say you have a lot of like small minions, like two threes, two fours. Uh, they just lose so badly to, um, you know, to a four or six druid mm -hmm. caller. So, right. I think historically the druid matchups have favored bigger druids because uh, bigger druids usually have taunts. So, but you know, we'll see. It definitely depends how how the small druids can snowball their lead. It basically relies on. Um, you know, how crazy the Hobgoblin can get or how crazy, say, Power of the Wilds and uh, Savage Wars can get because, you know, you're, you're, a more, you're a smaller deck, but so you'll, you know, you'll fizzle out first and you'll right. lose the late game, but you, you need to be able to snowball your, your early lead, so. Well, I mean, right now, if, it's, if the bigger Druid has an Innervate into, like, a Shredder, I think uh, Tyrus has a big advantage here. Exactly. You don't want to be a smaller druid and be behind, right? And playing from behind. That's right. that's like the most weird situation. And uh, looks like that's what's going to happen. Uh, and what's super awkward for Hype this is only three drop is the Hobgoblin. And <laughs> it's like, oh man, it just I don't dies. think you want to start. Yeah, it just mm -hmm. dies. But I mean, you can't just hear a power the face. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, Wild Groove is actually a good draw here. You can actually choose to sacrifice the Shredder so that you can play a special knight next turn. Feels pretty good. Mm -hmm. Especially because Keeper of the Grove is a situational Ooh. card, there might not be a oh, target. Oh wow! He actually wraps instead. Yeah, so it's to save the, to save the Shredder. Yeah, it does, but I mean, I mean, I, I guess, guess if Tides feels that hype deck is all in against him, so he just doesn't want to make too weak of a move and lose his Shredder. Uh, he probably feels that there might be a Keeper target anyways, and he can just follow up with Spectral Knight. There's no need to say uh, to ramp, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, Tides might be a little bit ahead of the meta here, and uh, he's running Black Knight in his Druid. Yeah, Black Knight is a card that has kind of fallen out of favor recently, and uh, we see it come back this tournament in, in a couple of decks. I think this is the second deck we've seen of Blood Knight, mm -hmm. I mean Black Knight. And imagine if there's a Hobgoblin here, this would be an explosive turn. Uh, Tides is not going to be able to use the Innervate this turn, so it's probably just going to be a Special Knight and pass. Uh, so Hype will have to deal with this board. Yeah, Hype's actually behind, and actually Hype is almost dead in some ways, because uh, <laughs> there's always the threat of at least Force Nature or Savager here. Probably not both by turn 7, but, you know, Hype definitely has to be worried about his life total here. Um, and uh, I guess you can hit the Shredder and see what happens first, right? Well, if a Mana Wraith comes out, you're not really that unhappy about it. Ouch. Because it's probably going to be a force of nature, but it's buffing the 3-3, three, three, so now you wish you played the force of nature. <laughs> but you can't know what's coming out. There could be yeah, other ones true. where you'd rather not have force of nature, you know? It's weird. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's actually weird, because if he is going to force of nature, he should have used it first. Because what if a taunt comes out, right? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, so that that should have been a little bit uh, forethinking, I guess. But then also, if you force the nature first and you hit it, and then there's a doomsayer, you're not like, what the heck is just happening? Yeah, you just force the nature. 
nothing yeah. effect effectively because it was dying anyways to the doomsayer. Right, so uh, I think uh, this is lethal for tides. So uh, yeah, here you go. That's uh, one way to do it. Uh, innovating a shredder is a uh, pretty insane start. It's really hard to beat that, to be honest. Uh, Hype just didn't get as strong aggressive. Like it, it was t the deck totally played different from last game when uh, you know Hype had a crazy opening like. 2 1 1 Divine Shields followed by 9 9, and this game was. The, it's the Zoom Age, right? With all the echoes and weird stuff like that. And oh my god, Hype is actually playing Zoom! Oh wow, I guess I, I never I, I saw Hype. I, 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 I kind of assumed that. I was Hanlock for some reason, but uh, maybe we missed it, or you know, maybe we, as casters, uh, you know, we're not as paying attention as much as players, you know, writing down everything and remembering. So maybe, maybe, he, maybe Hype did play it, and we just didn't, you know, remember. Mm hmm. Uh, so I think Zoo is a big favorite against Tides, and if, especially if Tides choose to... <laughs> I don't know why he would mulligan the Keeper of the Grove, because it's good against both matchups. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. wow. Wow, that's that's one way to beat um, Zoo, right? <laughs> yeah, this is a very good hand. Wild Grove into uh, Keeper of the Grove, especially if your opponent draws, like, puts like a Flame Imp at the start. So uh, pretty easy turn for a high tier. I'm pretty sure you're just going to coin up both the one drops. Uh, yeah. Set up for the uh, wolf if you need it. Uh, you also have a you also have a creeper next turn for more wolf. Because and, uh, has the time use wild growth here, um, maybe hype is actually going to follow up with the creeper because you don't you don't want to risk your dire wolf elf being keepered, maybe. And there's no minion this turn that tides dropped, so you can't really use your dire wolf to uh, you know to trade. So it goes with the safer play. I do like this one better. Mm -hmm. I would have preferred to see the Hunter Creeper on the left of the uh, of the of the board here because if you imp explosion, all your one ones go on the right, and with the Darwolf Alpha, you kind of want to propagate, you know, with Flame Tongue. So having right. your Death Rattle in the mid in the middle of the board seems awkward. Well, but also you kind of want the Void Walker to be in the middle of as well, right? So then you know after the Void Walker dies, yeah, things also uh, okay. shift. So I think based on that. It would be right to have played the Lepronome on the right side of the Voidwalker. <laughs> See, this is like such a positional game, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, I, I think Zoo is hard to play. People think there's it's like super easy, but... A lot of positional like... things. Right, but then I, I, there's a lot of things where you go like, ah, it doesn't really matter. You say, Die Wolf is going to die and whatnot, but it does matter, right? There are a few games that decided, um, you know... That, this, that decides just positional, one position error, and you can't Die Wolf or Lethal or something, you know? Yeah, exactly. Uh, this turn, I definitely expect the uh, Dark Iron Dwarf to be developed and Lepernum to be traded off for. You still are not that weak to swipe because there's no way for Tides to remove the Hunter Creeper you know, mm -hmm. before swiping. So at least the Creeper will stick around. Um, Implosion would be... Hmm. Let's see how it rolls. And oh my god, that's good, right? That's good. <laughs> that's good. That yeah. Is good. And Tides is like, look, look at him. He's like uh, waving back and forth and go like, no, nope, that just happened. And look at that, no swipe in hand. Is this swipe like the only, only way to deal with this board? Yeah, pretty much. Unless you just go bigger, you know, like something like a sludge bill strip. Because these are all, even though this board is big, they're all one ones. So ultimately. You can just go over the top. Like you don't have to kill these minions. It's not like a quarter master where you could just die to these. They're ultimately just flame imps. So. I well, mean, to be honest, you are gonna die from these. Fourteen health left remaining from tides, and if we see another implosion here, <laughs> but he has I the room. Not, right? He has the room, though. You know. No, there's I, no room. I, okay. So instead, you dark iron dwarf, and, right? Um, dark iron and dwarf then and trade flame for instead. One. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't yeah. think there's any way Hype will go for the explosion here because he doesn't have room, so. But we'll see. He did, you know, went for last turn and it paid off, got the four imps last turn, so. And perfectly removed the keeper as well. Yeah, it's looking like Tides of Time, regardless of what happens here. Uh, it's looking bad because Tides of Hands, Tides of Time's whole hand is like kind of situational cards, right? Uh, Force of Nature Savage is really not what you want against a lot of early game minions. And right. the Shade is too slow and the Power Well doesn't, it's, all, it's also too slow and, and actually just too weak as well, so. Tides of Time needs to draw a swipe here. Doesn't 
doesn't and get the swipe. That's not really a swipe. I mean, can you Ancient of Lore into something crazy? No. Can you Force of Nature? I guess you have the Force of Nature then, huh? Yeah, you can remove the 4-4 four, four and the 3-2 the with Force of Nature, maybe. Ooh, oh. let's see what this pops up. And it's an... Oh, no. Uh, maybe it's just going for the Doomsayer. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, no, Doomsday activates on your turn. I mean, not, not on your oh, turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your turn. So that would be very yeah. terrible, I think. Um, yeah. Typed is... Well, actually, Age of Lore is not that bad. Um, but you are facing, still, the same amount of damage you faced before. Now, Hype can actually, like, kind of um, bet on his imps here, right? Um, if it hits just one imp or two imps, implosion can hit for three. <laughs> um... Yeah, yeah, I think I think you do that. I think you just hit two imps in the um, into the uh, lore. Wow, he's going for the other one. Oh. Okay. Is it? The creeper's taking up free. I think the hype is going for explosion here. Right, but if this hits for two, that would kind of suck. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, three. three. Is That's good okay. One. Definitely. Three good. is really good. Three is yeah. perfectly good. Yeah. Just play the Undertaker on the right, and Voidwalker should be placed somewhere in the middle. Perfect. That is really good. Um, ones and um, yeah, there you go. Tide's time is once again kind of fishing for swipe. This many 1-1s, one it's almost the only way you can deal with it. Okay, so Tides of Time does take out all the non-1-1 one -one minions, but <laughs> it's still enough 1-1 one -one minions is still going to kill you. Uh, Well, I mean, it's not killing you yet. You have a Doom Guard. Oh my! Oh, god! Oh, okay. Well, bad. I guess you do draw Doom Guard. Maybe I shouldn't be like calling cards like this one person. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Uh, that so now you just lost the game out because this board now seems impossible to deal with. Even a swipe can't destroy Doom Guard. Uh huh. And you're uh, at three life, so. So Wrath, you have needed. to draw a card. You're not kind of living without drawing a card. Bad teacher's not gonna do the job here. Hyped with the zoo. Uh, kind of like a surprise pick, right? I mean, you're expecting kind of everybody. Yeah. Everybody is running a handlock that you go like, oh. Yeah. So I don't know if Tides is able to get a lot of value from Echo here. And look at this hand. Really gross hand from Tides. Mirror Entity is one of the worst cards you can have. Yeah, you definitely Tides. don't want any secrets. You just want to cheat them out with, uh, with Mad Scientist, you know. Oh, and now <laughs> it looks really good hand. It just I went from really bad. The zombie ch I don't think you can argue if you draw a zombie chow at the starting <laughs> hand against the zoo. Two one drops as well. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Tides of Time's hand just went from really bad to really good. <laughs> okay, so I wonder if Tides is just going to overrun hyped here. Because the, the other thing about playing a deck like Zoo is it relies on snowballing minions, like we said, uh, with the Wolf mm -hmm. and Argus and uh, Abusive. And once right. you lose board control, that plan falls apart. So oh, you are forced to Abusive here and to clear the zombie child because you don't have any death rattles. So this yeah. Undertaker is just going to be a sitting duck. Wow. And once this Undertaker dies, if you look at Hype's hand, it's all snowball minions. He doesn't have any minion that's just playable. So it's like the worst case scenario for Hype. Well, I think oh. now I have to give the edge to Tides, like, <laughs> by far. But still, the Acolyte is really weird, right? I mean, we kind of talked about the Acolyte, how it kind of, like, you know, um, what's, what's that What's that word called? Confused wow. us, I, I guess? I'm super uh, not confused about not dropping Echoing Ooze. Oh, because really? Because uh, now this can just trade and also threaten the mirror entity as well. Whereas if you echo ooze, this still trades with the mad scientist over two turns, but it also oh. gives you, say, a better chance to stick one of the oozes for like our Argus or something, and it doesn't immediately proc the secret. Oh, wow. I, now what if it's just mirror entity? For the acolyte here, that is interesting. And if, if the ooze is dropped here, Tides might actually get two oozes, right? Because the battle card sticks and it's like copied, is it? Or does it work that way? I don't think way? so. No, I don't think you'll get the battle cry from Mirror Entity. I think you will because battle cry is kind of it, 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 it occurs before the secret occurs, right? Because battle cry is like happens and then secret happens. So if you're gonna buff your own minion, then it works. It, it, like uh, think about it this way: like Frost Wolf Warlord, it also works with Mirror Entity, right? No, but Echo is battle cry is at the end of the turn. Yeah, so the end of the end of the turn, Tides Ooze might uh, propagate as well. You got I don't think so. <laughs> oh, I guess we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Oh, see? It has the buff. It has the oh, wow. thingy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it makes sense, right? Battle cries occur before secrets do. So <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's 
this is actually gonna happen first. <laughs> oh man, this is amazing. Yeah, that was. That was Who would have thought, was... guys? This is one way to get two minutes of mere energy, guys. Use, yeah. <laughs> use an ooze. Um, well, if Tides actually gets a uh, echo here, that could be pretty big. I don't, uh, now Tides I believe can just take over the board, though. You have a crazy Undertaker turn here, right? Undertaker plus Loot Hoarder, and you can really take over this board. Five minions versus one. Five All versus right. one. Yeah, that it's not good. often that you get five versus one against Zoo. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh he's putting a playing. secret instead. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is kind of stopping the Doom Guard, I guess. I guess it. Oh! <laughs> It's not gonna happen though. Not uh, after no, the no, that's turn. not gonna happen. I mean, you have a perfect turn five play with this, um, so I'm pretty sure. This way, you don't have to discard right. your two cards. You can play Doom Guard next turn. Well, both mirror entities are gone, so Hype is not really afraid of the Doom Guard being copied or anything. So that's gonna be fine. The Ooze is going to. Um, it looks like he wants to eat a free minion for sure. Uh huh. Besides, so take out the one that doesn't draw extra cards. Uh huh. Big game hunter is not going to be useful here, but um, yeah. Tides has so many um, oh. moves here. Wow, this Undertaker. Is that a one mana Yeti that we're about to see? How many death rattles are? <laughs> that is a one mana Yeti. Wow. Oh no. That's really sick. I can't imagine not going for the one mana Yeti move. All right. Hypta is kind of the perfect answer in Doom Guard, but then there's still all the other creatures after. Exactly, and all the other creatures just trades perfectly, you know. Oh, and actually, Belcher is even weaker to Doom Guard. Belcher right? is because pretty weak to Doom Guard. It's even it's weaker because then you don't have all the other one mana minions. Yeah, and now how and how is this Doom uh, Doom Guard gonna die? Right? Is not. Yeah. So a uh, little bit of um, I guess. I guess he only. Oh well. Okay. Do you want a <laughs> one mana five six instead? One mana five six. Oh guess, man. That's what you do. Oh my god. The zoo has arrived. Oh my god. The new zookeeper is in town. Wow. Look I, I want to see the look at Hype's face because. <laughs> I just. <laughs> what just? I don't even know what just happened. Oh no. Oh wow. Okay. Is this? If this rules four. Oh yeah, you it's can use a two huge. Is this just one? All on the line here because. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what is happening this game? Wow. Now did you take out the, uh, the zombie chow here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the game would have been over right there. <laughs> oh my god. And now all of a sudden, it's hyped with the stronger board. Yeah, but this Luhordo is gonna come- Oh, the, the damage trigger is huge, actually, right? Uh, you Luhordo sacrifice yourself to draw something. Um, oh, Yeti is, yeah. uh, not too special. I- I think the BJ is actually gonna be dropped here so that he can ping as well. Yeah, maybe. I actually think that, uh, I think the Yeti will come down. Because oh. there might be Sea Giant in this deck still. And also, I don't think you need to ping a 1-1. You know, you just trade your uh, your Lepernome or whatever, or your Clockwork Gnome even, for the Flame Imp, and I don't think it really matters to get the one extra hero power. I think you'd rather just play the Yeti, because the Big Gamer is too weak to 1-1s. One oh, it doesn't even drop the Knife Juggler. Huh, is it going to go for the... the, the I guess the oh, Knife Juggler is also too weak to 1-1s, one but... Maybe he's just valuing a little bit more. Oh, and there you... Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Prophet... Prophet Kong. I have to say <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that's what okay, so you can play the sea giant. <laughs> that's that's a good one. But but guess what? Ties has the yeah. perfect counter. Like yeah. this game is just insane. I, I I don't know what's happening. I guess BGH is good in, against Zuo to keep right. Yeah. Like I would have lost this game. <laughs> I would have just lost. I would have played the BGH there and go like, oh god, I can't deal with that. Oh my yeah. lord. Oh, the knife misses, unfortunately, but it doesn't really matter. You have two knives anyway in the form of a hero power. You're gonna have whirling blades here. I think Tides will actually win next turn. Yeah, it's so hard for Zoo to make a comeback now. I uh, mean, you're gonna tap here for sure, and now you're down to. It's, it's not None of your minions do anything, unfortunately. You have to get two lucky pings on the one of the two life minions, or right. you're dead. Oh, is that oh, happening? One. Is that Can happening? It? Is it possible? No, no, no. Oh, no. Juggler cannot yeah. decide, and Tides is gonna win this series 3 to 2. Um, Echo as well, why the heck not? Juggle some more knives. Oh man.
Wow. So there you go. Tides, let's take this with your uh, with the mage deck that we really wanted to see, and it's like wow. Yeah, it's like it, the mage has uh, zombie chow, which is like a card that can really keep you in the game early game against Zoo, because Zoo is still uh, probably the smaller.